ladies, by consensus, who at the table do you think would make the best wife for Brian and what? Okay. Um, Brian, do you agree? I vote Carly. She has a boyfriend. Uh, the one with glasses. Um, I think he's just saying that because you both look a little nerdy. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Oh, <laughs> it's, not, it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. I, I, am, a little, I am a little nerdy. So checks out. Checks out. But... Uh, um, Consensus, consensus at the table? Out of curiosity, how old are you? 34. Yeah, no. Mm. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think 19 and 34 is a... Brian dates 18 and up. Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> Brian said he dates 18 and up. Really? Well, she's got a boyfriend, okay? So let's not... Yeah. Step, I've always I don't felt like you guys have toes. cute chemistry. Why does everyone think that? I have a boyfriend. Strictly business. Yeah, this is strictly business. We work together. Yeah. She has a boyfriend. I don't step on toes. Like strictly business. People when platonic relationships exist. Me and Frankie are homies. Well, I mean, I have guy friends too. I'm just saying. But well, I mean, like in in term, I mean, that's a whole another conversation, like age gap dating. But I mean, actually, most of the women I date are actually around my age. Recently, I've been like some of the more recent women in the say the past two or three years I've dated have actually been older than me. Um, so, Ooh, but love that. generally speaking, I date women around my age, but like I'll date anywhere from 18 to 45. Why not? That's my, my negotiating. <laughs> range. Do you not find that, um, like just out of curiosity, sure. do you not find that not even just a maturity gap between you and 18 year old, but a relatability gap? Mm. Well, j and to be clear, like of, most of the women I've recently dated, they're like late 20s, mm -hmm. early 30s. But like, I'm not sit like if some fucking babe who's 21, I'm not yeah. gonna like be like, haha, no. <laughs> I'm not I gonna mean, be like, to be honest, oh, you're too, no. Sorry, I think that 21 and 18 is also very different. Sure. Because 18 is like fresh out of high school. Like very that's true. A kid. So different. And then 21. Well, 18, you're, you are an adult. But it's Legally, not like yeah. it's not like I'm trolling at college parties trying oh, to find God, no, 18 no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not. There's saying also that. like 18 year olds attack. that are like way more mature than you That's think true. they would be. And I'm not saying sure. and let me, like that. that Actually, like Maddie, I'm 18, or mm -hmm. I'm 18. My boyfriend's 22. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's fair. That, I think that's, but yeah, that's more. That's, that's like yeah, more that's but like, acceptable. Mm -hmm. Well, if, me, me personally though, I don't have issues with age gaps. If both people yeah. are adults, I don't have an issue with it. Yeah. When it comes to the maturity thing though, and Maddie raised actually a really good point. Uh, as someone who's dated, or like who's gone on dates or has had relation relationships with women my age, older than me, around my age. There are some very, very immature women who are 35. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there true. are some women who are very toxic mm -hmm. who are 35. Mm -hmm. There are some women who are 21 that are very pleasant mm -hmm. and actually quite mature. And mm -hmm. the other thing when it comes to dating young, actually we should react to a tape video because he's gonna be able to articulate this much better than me. <laughs> but someone who's younger has less relationship baggage. Mm -hmm. It's more likely to have less relationship baggage, lower body count, and also like m when it comes to physical attractiveness, what men and women find physically attractive is fairly different. Mm -hmm. So, and they've done studies on this. Like, it's not just like a fringe group of men that find like 21 year old women really attractive. It's like across the board. If you just, if you ask most men, and if they're gonna be honest with mm -hmm. you, I mean, if there's something to be said about certain people prefer hearing uh, comforting lies over uncomfortable truths. The mm -hmm. fact of the matter is like, if you ask most men, they would say when it comes to purely physical attractiveness, not talking about relatability mm -hmm. or uh, things in common, women between the age of like, I think 21 to 25 is when mm -hmm. most men will agree. That's like the peak of the, the peak age group of women that they find the most mm -hmm. physically attractive. I agree. Strictly on that yeah. metric. Mm -hmm. um, and look, as we age, you know, we maybe gain a bit of weight. Some people can get f physically fitter, but you know, you're, you're, you start going under, you know, wrink, wrinkly skin. You become less physically attractive as you get older. Um, so, and they, they have done studies on this though. Women typically, like, as women age, they tend to find men, like, one or two years older than them, like, the most attractive. Mm -hmm. And then, but for men, it's like pretty much stagnant, like, yeah. 20, 21, 21, like mm -hmm. even into men, pe men being 40, 50, like that's the most physically attractive age. I was 21 and I dated a 45 year old. And, cool. but, but what I found was, like you said, it, I think that 
I was thinking, oh my gosh, relationship, marriage. I, I was thinking that at 21. I, I was thinking that. But I was a vacation for him, apparently. And it wasn't like a, a sex work thing. It was, I, I didn't realize that he had gotten out of a big relationship. I, he, I didn't know yeah. about it. I was a, his vacation. So I'm like, that could be yeah. something. And I'm like, oh, okay, I get it now. Mm -hmm. um, when Matt and I started dating, I was 22 and he was 34. Mm -hmm. And I was actually coming on to him oh, really the, strong. Mm -hmm. You were, oh, you were, okay. He, yeah. you're t you were 22, mm -hmm. he was 34. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, nothing wrong with that. But you yeah. were the one really pursuing him. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was like really into it. Yeah. And at first he was like, oh, is she a little too young? But then, yeah, he got to know me and realized, oh, yeah. for 22, she's actually mature and mm -hmm. yeah yeah and it seemed kind of like it was sort of a similar thing because he had just been seeing someone who was about his age mm -hmm. and she was like uh, as, as far as he said she was like kind of a downer and things like that yeah and yeah that's i was same. like refreshing mm -hmm. and that's the same yeah, thing so i think like age gaps yeah it totally yeah, it could be fine. hit or miss yeah yeah, yeah. For but sure, statistically for sure. people marry and date within three years of their sure. age. I mean, that's just, oh, right. yeah, interesting. That's but also, I mean, I also I read this one. This it kind of grossed me out. This one study that they like they connected. So they showed pictures of women of different ages to different men, and they connected their brains to it. And their brains reacted most to women who were like sixteen. <gasps> ah, yes. uh, I I haven't heard of that study. Personally. I don't know yeah. about. That I couldn't study. quote it, and I mean, maybe I'll look it up. I think. My, Honestly, when I when I was like 16, I think my dad told me about it. So it was like deep in my brain. I, don't know. I, I just I've thought never, of it. I just I've never it. heard of that. Yeah, I've never been heard of it. But um, I don't know. Like, I'm trying to think where, where I was going with this. Um, yeah, well, I mean, just a point of clarification. Like, as I mentioned, like, would I date someone who's 19, 20, 21? I would. But I'm not like hanging out at fucking college mm -hmm. parties trying to meet. Yeah. yeah. Fuck, right. Like, I don't go to bars. I don't go to clubs. Yeah. Like, I'm You're not, not real fishing. But if some fucking baddie 21 year old DMs me, I'm not gonna say, <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna be like, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Yeah. No, like, I'm, yeah, it's so. Uh, not interested. I'm a man. God. <laughs> yeah. this, is a, this is a purely personal standpoint, but um, I feel that if um, a man who, I think my cutoff is probably like 25, 26, which is still pretty, it's a pretty large age gap for 19. But if a man who's 25 or 26 years old, knowing my age, reaches out to me, that raises some concern for me. And I would like to consider myself mature for my age. I don't want to blatantly say that because I don't know. But even, even with the, oh, like, well, she the same maturity level, I would still view it as kind of concerning just life experience-wise almost. Like they're advertising just that. It's mm -hmm. kind of like in those adult videos, they go 19 year old, 18, just, yeah, just turned barely, 18. Barely, barely 18. I, I don't know. I, I, I know what you mean. I don't think they're going out of their way. They shouldn't to, be advertising that solely. Yeah, I, I don't yeah. think they're going out of their way for that one sole reason, mm -hmm. but sometimes it can imply, and obviously this has to do with their personal history, that um, they as an older man can't, like maybe girls their age know better almost. Yeah. Does that make sense? Funky No, town. not really, not <laughs> really. <laughs> like, I, think it's, uh, I think it's pretty simple. Mm -hmm. Like younger women are better looking, lower body count, less baggage, and this, this is a biological component to it. They're better bet for fertility. So mm -hmm. like, for example, I mean, obviously we're using like- Biology. You know, women, women who are 25 are still, you know, even in, into their late 20s, are still very fertile. However, like say you're a guy who's in his late 30s and you want to have kids. Once you hit 35 as a woman, you can still have kids, but you're starting to get into uh, high risk pregnancy territory. Mm -hmm. So as a guy, um, Nick, hello. Um, as a guy, let's say you want to have kids, you want to have a family and you want to, maybe you want to have a lot of kids. Mm -hmm. A woman, say you're 39, dating a woman your age is not the best bet when it comes to fertility. If you're 39 and you're gonna date a 38 year old, okay, by the time you guys get married, maybe you're both 42, then she's 40. Maybe you can, you're lucky to have one kid. Like a guy who's in his late 30s is probably gonna to wanna to try to date like a woman who's 29, 28. How do guys yeah. feel about sexual surrogacy? Sexual surrogacy? Yeah, like if the woman can't, then, then are they like, you know what? Like, I want a family with you, 
but let's find a woman that like how, how do they feel about well i think that? it's very simple if he wants to have kids yeah then, then they just yeah. find then it's probably just I, it's probably best for you too yeah. to not get involved with him because he mm -hmm. the prospects of long-term relationship with McCarthy someone who wants kids is yeah. 99 dollars yeah mm -hmm. ryan my boo Thank you. is being quiet and modest about her fitness <laughs> She's an ASM certified trainer, completed an eight day fast, uh -huh. no food, with me that reset her hormones, and oh. prepped for BB oh. competition. Oh, there you go. Check the whatever egg I sent <laughs> transformations. Heck yeah. There. <laughs> nice. Can I ask Thank you, what Matt. division you Appreciate it. In? I didn't end up competing because okay. I'm not going to trauma dump Brian, don't worry. Yeah. But um, well, I just right. had a lot of family things go on, and I like stopped my prep like right yeah. when I was about to. But I was going to do oh. NPC. How did you oh, fast? Yeah, so I actually want to start it NPC. again. I actually lost a lot of weight I gained like a lot of weight during COVID wow. was it bikini and, yeah uh, Wait, it was bikini, bikini yeah that I was prepping cool. for yeah that's awesome yeah yeah I'm curious about the eight-day fast that reset your me hormones. too yeah. Like, yeah yeah so yeah did it do that uh, um I mean basically just whenever you fast it I mean your body is like completely resetting itself mm -hmm. What do you so, eat? So, yeah. No, you don't. Eat water. Water? Yeah. Mineral water, right? Mm -hmm. Mineral yeah. water, yeah, exactly. So you don't, like, deplete your nutrients. Yeah. But, yeah. Wow. Yeah. But it's it's great for you. It has a lot of health. Wow. Nutrients. Yeah. So That's no, cool. no calories at all. For Nothing. Yeah. Wow. Just, wow. just, like, salt and magnesium water. My, the my dad did wow. a fat a fast for 21 days with just water 21. cool Whoa. wow cool yeah did he, did he i think he his main concern was that he had an ulcer in his stomach and oh. i think it fixed it See? oh yeah, yeah. i had not let's had a, uh let's just bring it back to the oh. conversation we were having so yeah. i mean you were you were mentioning something about you know what what does someone who's younger say someone who's 21 have in common with someone who's for example 31. yeah but i mean i would argue that the that having things in common with someone is very low on the totem pole of what makes you attracted to somebody it's mm -hmm. a mm -hmm. pause like if oh we like the same music but like how that's not going to be the primary attraction trigger for anybody mm -hmm. because i'm sure for every single girl yeah. here you've you've known a guy who you have tons of shit in common with mm -hmm. but you would never mm -hmm. date him yeah. so this idea that commonality or having things in common is really important like, I don't care if my girlfriend, if she likes the same music as me, cool, I mm -hmm. guess, but it's a very, very low priority mm -hmm, on the yeah. totem pole to the point of being kind of mm. so negligent. It's I, so I, negligent. Yeah. I think Wait, I, negligent? Ne negligible, uh, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, sorry, I think that I worded it wrong, I, for lack of better words. I, I don't think that having things in common in general is important, but obviously age gaps is a super nuanced topic. Like, there's a lot of opinions mm -hmm. on it mm -hmm. but um for lack of better words relatability i feel like would apply to like a general census like me personally mm. i would like this is a random general example i would like to date somebody who has a similar job to me that's a different sure. area of life but i feel like there's just some things that are kind of non-negotiable like you'd want to date someone with the same morals you know yeah. stuff like that yeah. i feel like it's more on that tier list and obviously it depends mm. for every person but mm -hmm. well yeah i mean but I, I could point out for example like there are women who are 21 for example that don't go to bars don't don't go to clubs mm -hmm. they're not really drinking they don't really party i don't drink i don't go to bars i don't go to clubs i don't do drugs not interested in mm -hmm. any of that shit there's plenty of women who are 30 that still go to fucking raves and they're still mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. out they're fucking alcoholics and mm -hmm. they're drinking every single weekend and they're clubbing and partying mm -hmm. and hooking up, that's not the type of girl I want. So, I mean, you can find people across various age groups that align with you in terms of whether it's interest, whether it's re relatability. Um, I would relate much more to a girl who's, say, 21, who doesn't go to bars, doesn't go to clubs, doesn't drink, doesn't party, doesn't do drugs, than a girl who's 31, who's closer to my age, who still fucking goes to raves and <laughs> parties and drinks and does drugs like so mm -hmm. i actually think you swayed my opinion on this oh i shit. agree okay. with you more but i would just like i think that sorry, I'm sorry. no and it, it's fine to think how, how like yeah I, no but i i just think um i would definitely still like if i see with no context around it a 34 year old man and a 19 year old girl i'm going to be concerned right off the bat how uh, does drake more it's at the frame of reference <laughs> too i mean like how is a 34 year old man and a 19 year old girl gonna have like the same like you know like they're not even 
going to be into the same things. I mean, I, I understand how they can get along or whatever, maybe like you're saying, but... Oh, I'll put her on to some Game of yeah. Thrones. Yeah. I got yeah. it. I, I think yeah. that's kind of like hot I mean, when an older cute. guy no, it, like it, shows... It, I don't it's know. cute, but I mean, like, what if... I got know, the shows. <laughs> I know the good shows. <laughs> okay, shows. well, also, you're, um, you know, I mean, I, I, I'm assuming, like, you know, like, you, 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 you have money and whatnot, so maybe you can take care and whatever but but do you feel like maybe like what if she's in a, a different stage of life than you like you have a, an established career right mm -hmm. and she is you know just her she's in her sophomore year of college like sure. you don't feel like that different stage of life kind of makes a, a difference for you I suppose it depends like obviously I know a lot of girls who are in college like especially I, I don't know if you guys are su whoa, whoa, sorry about the motorcycle <laughs> passing by super loud uh, a lot of girls who are in college not all of them, but like a fair amount of them, especially here. This is UCSB is right. pretty close to us. UC Santa Barbara, it's a major party school. So a lot of girls, for example, who are in college, they, they like to go out on the weekends, party, go to clubbing. That type of girl probably ain't it for me. Like I'm not really interested in that, that kind of girl, but there's plenty of girls who are in college who are probably a little more mm -hmm. studious. They aren't really into partying, not really into that whole but that's thing. that's kind of like not, could, not what I was getting at. Uh, I, I, I was yeah, different about, stage of life. Yeah. Like she's just getting established. Like, like what if, yeah, and, and maybe you're more ready because you're 34, right? Well, let me just reiterate. Again, yeah. I'm not at college parties trolling, like trying to pick up <laughs> I, chicks. But like, again, like if it happened to be like, you know, if I have, and I haven't been on dating apps in over a year, but if I was on a dating app and like she, her, her age setting, like we matched on a dating app, cool. If we, she DM'd me, cool. If through some way we met organically, cool. But it's not like I'm I'm like really Seeking like that out. targeting this yeah. specific yeah. age group. It's, it's demographics. Like, yeah. I, again, like let me reiterate. Like most, the vast majority of the women I've dated geez, in the past, say, re, in most of them I'd say are around my age, and actually quite a few of them have been older than me. You could also be at different stages of life, but like have commonality and like where, you, like what you want in someone. Like think about the 19 year olds that are with 50 year old sugar daddies. Like she, they want the money. Um, the older men want the younger woman. Yeah, like Leonardo DiCaprio and like he's 20 years old. 